In this video, we are going to learn how to download a printer driver and install it on our Windows. Uh, it is not different and it doesn't matter which version of the Windows we are using and what printer is that. And uh, you have to just follow the steps, follow the steps and the rules. The first thing is see your printer and find the model of that. that. Uh, this printer is Canon M MF1310. Okay, we search on it, download Canon MF1310 driver. After that, we can find the driver download option. I press on the download and download it and do our thing. Our thing. Okay, maybe it is HP printer. We type HP download, HP printer driver, HPM, for example, MFW, or other models. It doesn't matter which model of that. And uh, when you download the printer driver, you install it, and sometimes you need to restart it, or sometimes uh, it needs a restart, your PC needs a restart. Sometimes it didn't need it, and it works well after install. Yeah. Okay. After you re restart your PC or some programs didn't want, you see the printer appear and you can do other things. Uh, if you watch this video till the end, you uh, you will see the process and you can do it with every versions of the printers that you're using on it. And I upload another video. On this channel which is for Epson LMF 11 I think I know, I'll put it on the here and I show how to download and install the driver but this video is better than this and I will tell all of the things of that because of this the time of this video is a lot but it's still the end and you will learn how to download and install all the printers of the place you are working or other things and you didn't need to watch too many videos watch this till the end and you will learn how to do it we are going to download it certain mm. uh, driver Okay, I open the first website. This is the printer that we are going to install it. I press I accept the Windows. My Windows is Windows 11, but I can install Windows 10. Okay, I install Windows 10 6 3. For bit, the language is English, and I press on the download. Okay, download. And I save it on the desktop. It is 66 megabytes, and okay, it talk about where is the location of this. This I have to wait a bit until this download finish. Okay, no way. Um, I press show in folder. When you right click, you can see show in folder. Okay, it says on the desktop. I double click on it and wait a bit to see the start part of that. Okay, it's unzipping the files and it will unzip on this folder. Let me close it. These things, this is the folder. Okay, uh, we don't need to open it. I press next then press next and wait until the 
driver finished and connect the printer to your computer using okay I connected the USB cable I press accept again accept installation is complete okay when I press ctrl P I can see Canon MF 1310 and I press print the current page let me see what is going on okay it prints well and uh, it has a, a scanner but I cannot see the scanner okay we connect the printer but we cannot scan with it uh, and here I type printer and go to the printer and the scanners I open the Canon one on the scanner setting I press on the get scanner app and the Microsoft Store opens I have to wait until Microsoft Store opens the internet is too slow this is the windows scan I press on the get maybe I have it I don't know this is the old one but this is the new version ok it will start download it is too old I mean this is the oldest one and it will download it this is the pictures of the scan app let me open it this is nice I like it I have to wait until this download finished I press on the open as you can see it will appear here if you want you can pin to start or pin to the taskbar okay I open this it will loading because I have three printers connected this PC and all of them have a scan part and they are they can use and they have a scan option because of that it is loading problem coming to the scanner I present it close okay this is the Canon Canon one and the file type we are going to scan is png let me uh, put a sync to scan as you know I am an android developer and I put a note for myself on it and press on the scan let me see Okay. Processing.
problem kind of is, yeah, I press on the close. Uh, scan PNG was saved to scan. I press on the view. As you can see, it will scan this, put all release apps on Amazon. Okay. Uh, you can work with this app, scan app. If my other printers are, I mean, if my printers are on, I can change it and use them. This is the Canon MF. 1310 printer this is the scanner part of this as you can see LTR it supports LTR A4 B5 A5 STMT and this is Chinese I cannot read it and it says put the I mean put the file that you want to scan in here and it can scan or I can say it can copy okay we are putting this in on it and let me close it on here you can see the Canon logo the options of the copy I will talk about that and when you press on here this appear uh, if you do this your paper didn't will fill out and this is the location of the Canon printer to reload the papers on it and as you can see in here you will see A4, P5, A5 and the other things you can arrange and change the displays uh, it depends on your paper. For example, when you put A5, you have to do this. Okay. I'm going to put a test page on it. Okay. I close it. And this is well. Or you can put it out a bit. Or don't touch it. Okay. And do this. When you didn't use this, let's see what is going on. On here, you can see the plus and okay. When you press on this, the circle appear in here, and it will show the, for example, contrast of the printer. Uh, plus four and on here you cannot see anything okay um, I put it on the plus four again I press it this is the copy okay I didn't change it and here I have to it shows it can big or it can resize the paper when I press it for example number nine you will see how this little paper grows um with this button it will print and with this button it will cancel and for example replace cartridge and other things when i press on here too fast it is too fast if you didn't use it, your paper filled out. As you can see, the paper is too large and is not the real size of that. Okay. Again, I put this paper on the printer. This is the turn on and turn off button of the printer. Okay, I put this and open it and put this paper which is github cheat sheet uh, I set it on the LTR behind A4 this is the center of that A4 A4 okay 
I closed it. Again, we are going to use these options. Uh, the first one is contrast. I didn't change it. And this is the copy. When you press plus, uh, when you change it, you can change print and copy. And uh, you can set it on the print, then you can set it on the copy. This is your size. And when you press it again, you can change the type, not type, the papers, for example, one paper to print or two prints of the same paper. I set it on two, then press on the print. As you can see, it's going to copy in our paper, and if this is not, you can see it will show an error. As you can see, the contrast is high because of this quality is a lot, and it is, I can say, it is two more and nice quality better than the previous one as you can see the quality of that is better because we uh, change the contrast and set it on the high okay uh, I press on it again okay we are going to for example change something uh, I wanted to set it on the minus four it is copy and I will resize it. I will resize it on the plus sign. Okay. And one page print. I press on the print. If you do this, okay. As you can see, it fully uh, this printer can lodge the paper um, with the programs that are inside of it. This is the result, and this is the fully page, and it's resized, and it is this with the own program of this canon okay it just prints black and white and on the previous method I show you how to enable print with the computer and scan and this is copy